Welcome back to the Active Controls YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be installing this soft start, our 40 amp version, on this 5 ton AC unit. Uh, I'm at my neighbor's house. He'll be joining me shortly. He's on his way back. But he also has the backup generator set up. So that's our goal is to be able to start his 5 ton unit on his backup generator. I took an early measurement of this running and it had an inrush current of 149 amps. So if I use my 80% rule, I should be able to get the inrush current down to 30, 30 amps and he should be able to start it on his generator. Let's wait and see. It just came on. Okay. Yep. Ooh, beautiful. Guess what we got? We got from 149 amps to start it to 17.7 amps. Holy cow. Man, what a huge difference. That will start on your generator, my friend. Oh, my gosh. Man. All right, everybody. So I installed the soft start. The unit started. As you'll remember, I said the inrush current before on the start was 149 amps. And look at it now. We're talking 17.7 .7 amps to start this five ton unit. That is better than 80%. 80% would have got me 30. I am well above 80%. All right. All right, everybody. So I'm here with Tony. Tony, the neighbor. Hey. Our firefighter guy in the neighborhood here. So he's the best. Oh, he's the best. <laughs> so I installed the soft starter. You saw the measurements. 149 was the startup current before the soft start. And it was 17.7 .7 amps after. That's actually a reduction of 88%. One of the best I've seen yet. Uh, and this is the first five ton unit, actually. So the product is consistent in getting you 80% or better. Now, the goal for this is for Tony to be able to start out a generator. So yeah, Tony. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, just with a normal generator. I've, I've been in South Florida my whole life, and hurricanes are not if, it's when. Um, and when true. Tom approached me about this, and, you know, he said, what size generator do you have? And I said, a common one, about 6,000 watts or so, you know, just to power up the outlets in the house in case we have a storm. Um, he said, well, I have something for you. It's called a soft start. And we started discussing it, and, and uh, I couldn't really believe it. It was just something I didn't think really existed. So um, once he educated me, I just uh, jumped on board and, and I got to be honest, it's, it's such a game changer to, to be able to run your AC and knowing that uh, your whole house is powered with air conditioning. That's uh, instead of a window shaker, um, it's just, just safer. It's, it's more efficient. Um, it's cost effective. Right. Uh, so I'm just couldn't be happier that these and, we're doing and, and this. And the wife won't be upset because oh, she's going to be hot. <laughs> right. It also, this unit, you know, there's other added benefits to it. Okay. okay. It's got additional protection for the system. I have uh, low voltage protection, of course, current, but it also, uh, it, I don't know if your system has uh, pressure switches, but okay. you know, if it's ever low on refrigerant and it starts uh, short cycling, like okay. turning on, turning off, turning on, turn, this will reduce that because it has a forced timer wow. in there to say, oh, I just started, I have to wait three or four minutes okay. before I start again. It's a three wow. minute delay. So that's added protection as well as the vibration. Okay, I mean, and I you see don't it's even, Bluetooth, so. It's got Bluetooth, so. Yeah, as, that's great. Thank you, yeah. because I forgot to add it to the app, so we're gonna do that right now, okay, and I'm just I... gonna walk you through it, or okay. you can download it. Yeah, if, we, if it doesn't cut any yeah, time, sure. if you have uh, Android or iPhone. Android. All right, so just go to your Play Store, okay. and you're gonna search for Advanced Soft Starter. You're downloading yours. I've already okay, connected. It's ready to open. Okay, do allow, and boom. So stay there for a second, because okay. I'm connected to it. Both of us can't connect to sure. it. You'll notice mine looks a little different than yours, because okay. I have a bunch of other things. But I've already renamed your unit to Tony. Okay. Okay. And, all right. So this is what your unit's drawing, 14 okay. amps on the compressor, because that's all we're measuring. The whole unit is probably drawing a couple amps more when you add in the fan. Sure. But this is what your draw, uh, compressor's compressor. drawing. That's what your voltage is. Okay. Uh, 60 hertz is your frequency, and the box temperature inside here is about 119. Don't okay. think of that as being high. Sure. This is rated to go all the way up to 176 degrees. Okay. Sure. So when you see that. So now for you to add it, I'm going to disconnect from it, and you are just going to 
go over here to Bluetooth and you're going to say add device. It's going to scan for it. And I'm looking for Tony, right? It, nope. It's going to no. look for that guy. So that's, that's yours. Okay. Now go to your QR scanner on your um, phone. On my phone. Yep. Go to and then do copy. copy and then go back to your guy here. Once, once it's up, you select it and then now just do paste. Boom. And then do connect. Hit it okay. one more time. Now you've added it. You can rename it if you want to. Okay. But if you go to the home screen, there you'll see you'll see all the information. There it is, exactly. Now if there's ever a fault, this guy here. Whoop. No, oh, sorry. You're on generator. Okay. Uh and if you and want if to there's a back, fault, what do I what's uh, my next step? It it automatically reset itself. Okay. Three times. And on the fourth one, if there is a fault, you can do reset here. Okay. But if you're getting faults, we need to figure out what, what it is that's okay. causing it. And that's fault. something that I can call in the box? Uh, you can. Or if for a, right. If you have a problem, you can just go systems. here. Yep. Okay. And you can actually upload the file. When you're connected okay. to it, you can do upload. It'll send me an encrypted sure. file. You put my email there. Like a diagnostic. It's a diagnostic, yeah. exactly. Okay. And I can see exactly what fault it was having. Fantastic. And then I can get back to you and say, hey, Tony, this is what's going on. All right. All right. So be nice to your neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> this is very quiet now. You're definitely good being oh, nice to goodness. your neighbor here. He won't hear yeah. this guy turning on and off. So what we'll do next time is actually part Generated. two video. When Tony has more time, we can show it running on a video. I mean, on a generator. Thank you.